Well, hello, everybody. Today's lesson is a pretty important one. It's about buying and selling your gemstones. Hello again, everybody. Welcome back into the Color Gemstone Academy. I am Paul BC, your instructor. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is going to be a really interesting and important lesson. I'm going to read you a couple of uh, questions that I got. This is part, a part of the mail segment. Uh, UDL Tube asks, thank you for sharing your vast knowledge, amazing wealth of information on your channel. Where can I find hematite beads? The genuine article and he goes on to ask a couple of other questions about thulite and things like that um, so that's the reason I'm doing this lesson I get every now and again people saying where can I buy gems where should I go to buy gems who, who can I trust um, you know I'll get to that in a second so here's the other side of that coin this one comes from Prasanga Delip and he says I have a 0.38 carat dark red almondine garnet to sell I'm from Sri Lanka. All right, well, thanks for that too. And um, congratulations on living in Sri Lanka, I guess. But uh, my point is this, buying and selling gems. This is really what the world of gemstones are about. People want to know where do I buy them? And maybe if you have something that you think is worth something, whether it's something that was handed down from your grandmother or your dad or whatever, um, how do I sell it? What's it worth? Okay, so I get those questions a lot. So first and foremost, how do you buy gems? Like the guy uh, who asked uh, UDL Tube about hematite. I want to get some hematite beads. I have trouble finding them. Some of them are the, they, they seem man-made, or some are real, some are not. Um, my best advice is this: number one, no matter where you live, at least in the United States, I can't speak for uh, other places, but there are a lot of places that will have, in fact, look up like a local rock shop. And every city seems to have them. They might have multiples of them. And my friend Tom Elliott, who I've had on this show, talks about going into jewelers, asking questions, going into the rock shops. They're going to give you generally pretty good information. I've been to jewelry stores that parrot things that they've heard that really are not true, but... Get to know your local rock shop. See what they have in hematite or uh, any other gem that you're looking for. Usually you can get a finished or polished piece. You can maybe get some rough in some of these places as well. So that would be the, my first thing. The second thing would be, and again, if you want to buy gemstones, there are shows all over the world, gem shows, exhibitions, things of that nature. They have them in many, many cities at different, various times in the United States. Just go Google it on, or whatever search engine you use, DuckDuckGo, um, and then find out when there's going to be a show. They're in Hong Kong, there's um, Dubai, there's Switzerland, there's uh, uh, Hong Kong. Um, and to me, the biggest and I think the best is the... Tucson Gem Show. It's usually late January, early February every year in Tucson, Arizona. And it's not a gem show. It's a gem show. There's like 50 or 60 different independent shows that are running during that time, during those months. And some of them you need to have credentials to get into. Some of them you do not. Um, but that's really a great place to go if you want to buy gems, especially if you want to buy rough or some unusual things. Go to those shows. Um, the, the, the ones, some in the street in, in Tucson, you know, you can go to. Some of them you have to have credentials because you're buying wholesale. But that would be my uh, advice. Find a, a gem show near you, and especially the Tucson gem show if you can do that. Um, now for the, the selling aspect. I get from time to time many people, just like uh, Prasanga Dilip, saying he has a point. 38 karat dark red almondine. Um, first and foremost, I'm essentially retired from being in the show host business of selling gems on TV. Um, I still dabble in going places and buying some things, 
But generally speaking, when I was buying gems through my manufacturer, we were getting tons, like, like uh, pounds or a lot, a lot of them are sold in kilos as well. And they're getting it in the rough and then they are doing the cutting and the fastening because they have all the factories to do that. Very unlikely that I am going to need to buy a 0.38 garnet. And even so, if you live in Sri Lanka, it would cost more to ship to me than the stone would probably be worth. That's not true of all stones. So I, I want to make that very clear. Um, but there have been people that have contacted me. In particular, there was one pretty, uh, pretty recently because he had watched the uh, uh, Conk Pearl lesson. And he said he had, and he showed some pictures of some Conk Pearls that he had. Now that's a, that's an interesting situation because it's a very rare gem and it can be very, very expensive. So I contacted my manufacturers. Now my manufacturers have not only done manufacturing in bulk where you can get um, you know, rough or big, you know, buns, big runs of stones because it's going to be sold on a shopping channel. They also happen to manufacture, you know, a lot of times when you go into these st stores, big box stores, uh, Zales, or you're going to, you know, the blue box store, uh, really, really upscale gems. Generally, these stores aren't making and manufacturing themselves. They're going to somebody like my manufacturer who does some very, very upscale shows in Dubai, and they will have things that cost hundreds, if not, you know, thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars. So they might have an interest if you have uh, a very expensive, and you can always contact me, and if, I, if we, after we talk, if, it, if it's worthwhile, I will forward you to, on to the WhatsApp of my manufacturer who is all over the world. So I wanted to get this uh, very important mess and out of, message and, and um, lesson out of the way because a lot of people do wonder, where do I buy? How do I sell? So um, it's not going to really probably happen here on my uh, venue unless you guys start talking to each other and because so, you can read the comments that come in. Uh, but, but if you have something really worthwhile that I can pass on to my manufacturer, I'm more than happy to do it. So I hope that that answers some of those questions because uh, I do get them from time to time and I will answer all of those uh, separately when I get to them. But I wanted to use those as examples. So um, that's today's lesson. I'm going to do another one for tomorrow and maybe even Christmas Day because I want to get through some of these, uh, I call it viewer mail or subscriber mail. So uh, thanks again uh, for watching and supporting this channel. I really do appreciate this. Remember, if you have not subscribed, it's very simple to do so. Just hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a penny. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you the next time.